Hello, this is Dr. Thaddeus Regilowski from the Piast Institute. This is Polish Heritage Month, and I think that is a good topic for us to discuss on our program today. When we think of Polish heritage, we think of a lot of things. We think of history and music and culture. We also think of famous people. Perhaps there is no one in recent times who exemplified the meaning of Polish culture better than St. John Paul II, Karl Wojtyla, the Cardinal of Kraków who became the Pope. He had a long and very rich pontificate and he gave much to the church, to the world, but also he had a special place in his heart for Poland. It was the country from which he came. And one of the things he stressed always when he spoke to Poles and others, that they must keep alive their heritage, a heritage rooted in the values in the gospel of Christianity. Only then can they survive as authentic people and live in an authentic culture. When John Paul II went back first to Poland, in 1979, after he was elected, he spoke at Gniezno, the seat of the earliest Polish bishopric. And there he told the Polish people, keep this heritage alive. He says, I speak to you as a man who was born and raised in this heritage, who loves it, and who understands its life-giving properties. When he came to the United States, he gave that same message to Polonia. In Hampton, Tramick, Michigan, where the Piast Institute is located, the Pope spoke to a gathering of Polonia. And what he said was, in Polonia, you also must keep this heritage alive as in Poland. Do not let it die. This is very important for you. Why did he say that? The main reason is, of course, he loved it. He loved the literature, the culture, the music of Poland, but he also loved this common expression. He loved Polish food. He told jokes rooted in Polish humor. He loved to sing common folk songs. He was just deeply, deeply enmeshed in it. As one would say, it was bred in his bones. He belonged to that first generation of Poles raised in a free and independent Poland. They were very proud of it. They saw themselves as creating a new Poland, free for the first time after 123 years of partition and expressing that, that freedom finally from oppression by creating a new culture, a new expression of what it meant to be Polish in the 20th century. They succeeded, combining the old traditional Polish culture with new literature and art and the new experiences of independence. They were able to resist the terrible, terrible deprivations of the war. The war threatened the lives and took the lives of many Poles, but it also had a, a deeper threat. It threatened to destroy their culture. Both the Soviets and the Nazis turned their wrath against Polish culture because they understood what it meant. The Germans went out of their way to murder the Polish intelligentsia. At a time of great trial and stress, they killed priests and teachers and professors and intellectuals and writers and musicians because they understood that they created the culture that gave such great richness and humanity to the history of Poland and to the understanding of its people, of their experience. They wanted to kill it. And they went further. John Paul II himself was involved in underground theater just to preserve the spoken Polish word, to preserve the richness of the heritage, because the only entertainment that the Germans provided during occupation were terrible, terrible 
newspapers that spread lies, anti-Semitism, hatred. They provided movies that were either anti-Semitic or pornographic to break down the morality of the people. They promoted alcoholism. They even paid people in alcohol to drown out the, the authentic voice of Polish culture. And when the communists came, they stressed materialism, atheism. They denigrated all of the important aspects of Polish culture. We now look back and say, ah, Polish culture was, was strong, it resisted that. But it was a close run thing. Many people were destroyed by it. And so John Paul II understood how important culture is. And so when he spoke to Polonia and said, keep this culture alive, preserve it, he was telling us not only to preserve the outward manifestations of Polish culture, the things that he loved as much as any Pole. And yes, he was telling us, yes, preserve Pornczki Day, preserve dance groups, theater groups, singing societies, Pulaski Day parades. All of those are expressions of our feeling of Polishness. But there was something deeper there. He wanted us to preserve the rich Christian heritage of Poland, the thing that gave richness and value to Polish culture, that kept it from succumbing to the threats posed by totalitarianism and, and atheist materialism and pornography. This is what he wanted. And he knew how important this was because he looked around America and he was much taken by America. He was much taken by Polonia and the, the richness of its, of its contributions, the churches, the societies, uh, the neighborhoods, uh, the pres preservation of language and schools. He admired all of that. But he also understood that there was a subtle threat here. The American dream has also been infected by materialism and pornography and all of the other ills that beset the modern world. And so Polish culture, like any authentic culture rooted in, in values and faith, is a bulwark against that. It protects it. And finally, of course, he was telling us one more thing, that we are not to preserve it just for ourselves in our own little community, in our own little okolica, but rather we need to share it. One of the things he said when he came to Hamtramck and spoke to the Poles is, he said, and I read his words here, the more you are aware of your identity, your spirituality, your history, and the Christian culture in which you, your parents, and your grandparents grew up, the more you will be able to serve your country, and the more you will be able to contribute to the good of the United States. He understood that we live in the United States, but we have a distinct, distinct contribution to make that comes out of the richness of our Polish culture. And so he was telling us, this is important. Preserve this culture, nurture it, evangelize it, and pass it on to your fellow Americans. We have a gift to give them. As the uh, uh, German writer Goethe once wrote in his famous uh, poem, Faust, and he wrote, what you have is heritage, now take his task, for only then will you make it your own. And that is our charge, to take our Polish heritage seriously, take it as a task, make it our own, and pass it on to America. Thank you.